บาดาไว้ลองเปลี่ยนเดี๋ยวเมียนทรวดอลยืนรอซิงบาเมียนพอลไปย่อยดอลพี่น้องเวียทรวดหนึ่งต้องกัดจุบกุ้งหลักดูเจอเอามุตโต้เสียมุตโต้น้องตักไปกัดเมียนไหนบ้าน a ยชอน owns a grocery store in Troy Swai Commune in Kakong Province He needs to go to a local market, which is about 17 k i l o m e t e r s away, very often to restock his goods. Before, it took him hours to go and come from the market because a bridge on the way was very old, but he could not ride his motorbike on it. Instead, he had no other choice than to take a boat to cross the river. <laughs> For the residents of t r i s w a i Commune, being isolated has now come to an end. Crossing the 40 m e t e r w i d e Kampong Stam River is now made easy by a concrete bridge, which was built by UNDP's Intercommune Corporation project, funded by the European Union. The bridge benefits more than 10,000 residents in t r i s w a i and Bong Prai communes, especially as it enables people in the t r i s w a i Commune to easily access other parts of the province. t r o i s w a i f Commune is connected to its only neighbouring commune on the other side of the river by the bridge. Further west, the commune faces the sea. The commune does not have a hospital to care for the sick nor a market to buy goods. To access health services or buy and trade goods, the villagers have to travel to the neighbouring communes, 17 k i l o m e t e r s away on the other side of the river. Before the concrete bridge was built, a wooden bridge existed, but only for pedestrians. A motorist would need to put his motorbike on a boat to cross the river for a one-way fee of 500 real, which equates to 12 US cents. Although the amount may seem small, it can be burdensome for many of the poor in a country where many live on about 60 US cents a day. Cars had to stop at the river to offload passengers and cargo onto the ferry. Then, at the other side of the river, they had to upload their goods onto waiting transport to continue their journey. <laughs> ปิดบ้านนะมันการฟื้นดำน้ำนั่นคือเมียนบ่อบ่อบ้านคลาดกัดฟื้นดำน้ำปียบไอ้นั่นกัดจุบกุ้งหลักดูเจอเอามุตโต้เสียมุตโต้น้องตักไปกัดเมียนไอ้วันเช้าก็อัดอัดฟื้นดำน้ำเลยนั่งบ้านนี่ก็ดักตุกจิตตุกคลองสมมตินั่นคือจุบอุปสรรคคลังบ่า To address the need of the people, in 2010, Troy Swai Commune Chief Hai Sin invited the chief of his neighbouring commune, Bang Prave, to pull together a joint proposal to request funding from the Intercommune Corporation (ICC). They received 40,000 US dollars from the ICC to fund the building of the bridge. <laughs> The Intercommune Corporation is a pilot project in 12 provinces in Cambodia, including Kakong Province. It is a development approach assisting local councils of neighbouring communes to cooperate with each other in pooling ideas and money for any kind of development project that will offer the highest benefits to their respective residents. Goods can be moved to market a lot quicker, and the villagers can also save on transportation costs that they used to pay the boat carriers. Residents seeking medical attention can also visit health centres much quicker. For s o p h o n a 26-year-old mother in the Troy Swai Commune, her difficulty on the way to the delivery room three years ago was still in her memory. When she was due to deliver her first baby, she rode on the back of a motorbike driven by her neighbour to the river crossing, where she was transferred onto a ferry. At the other side of the river bank, she was loaded onto a rickshaw powered by a motorbike. The entire trip took two hours to complete. But as she is delivering her second baby in the next four months, she said she will reach the health centre in less than 30 minutes without taking a ferry, which saves her both time and money.